Well, one of the firms who's looking to respond to the government's call for financial inclusion is Turnkey Lender, a Singapore-based fintech startup. With me today is Dimitri Voronenko. He's the CEO and co-founder of Turnkey Lender. Dimitri, very good to have you on the show. Welcome to Manila. So let me uh, get started with what you guys do, because you bill yourselves as a cloud-based uh, loan management platform. Right. Um, how exactly does it work in a market like the Philippines? Okay, so what we do, we automate uh, end-to-end lending business for micro lenders, for online lenders, P2P lenders, all the types of small and medium-sized lenders. So we automate loan origination, we automate loan processing payments, credit scoring, different kinds of. So we automate mobile-based scoring, we automate classic scoring, big data scoring, and also, in the end, all the back-end functionality, all the reports that big banks have, so all the portfolio reporting, operational reporting, turnkey lender means that it's turnkey. You get the it's whole technology. Solution. Yeah, this, you get the whole technology. So our, our mission is to provide lending infrastructure. So once you have internet infrastructure, then if uh, you are a local lender and you want to automate quickly because, competi- because of competition, because of uh, potential growth, you need quickly to turn in into the best possible infrastructure. We've been doing previously in my previous life, with my previous company, I've been doing it for banks for 10 years, for, for large banks, including World Bank, for example, and, and some large institutions. So when we saw this new wave coming, especially in Southeast Asia, especially in, in countries like Philippines, when uh, these countries, they leapfrog, they actually jump over the banking loyalty. In the United States, everybody has 10 credit cards. Correct. So it's, it's just millennials and, and some sub-segments that, that actually want it. In Philippines, everybody wants it because Again, banking penetration is not, not as high. And people are not accustomed to work with banks. They can easily, this is the, the first thing they saw, they, they see their mobile app to transfer money, for example. Yeah? And so it's easy to, to get them on board, but it's still local. So lenders need to have technology to very easily turn it in, not like banks spending half a year, two years just to automate, configure, right. whatever. So they just need to turn it on and, and start working. So we have cloud platform. They supply their logo. We will white label it. They supply Is their this... logo, adjust rules. So it could take from hours to several days, adjust their loan application form, adjust their SMS reminders. So this is very, very quick. And then turn, turn key. Start lending. Is this is the service meant designed more for consumers or for no, small and is, medium enterprises? Uh, yeah, B two B. So this is uh, mainly for small and medium lenders. So like cooperatives, thrift banks, uh, new type of uh, digital lenders, uh, all these peer to peer lenders and uh, payday lenders too. So this is this is what we do. So when when we came to the market uh, one and a half years ago, so. Yeah, we've heard about it, but, you know, looking into the eyes of our customer that charges 1% per day, so this is something, <laughs> so yeah. that was a real yeah, key yeah. point and, that you wanted to address. Or absolutely, and, yeah. and, and actually then seeing uh, as this customer who got our solution decided, okay, I'd rather scale and turn around my money, so instead of 1% per day, I will be charging, okay, 3% per week. It's still huge, right. but we are seeing as solutions, so they're changing their mind. They are rather scale and make turnover right. instead of charging high. Plus competition, obviously. Right. Of course. Yeah. That, I mean, you also say that you use machine learning and yes. AI, artificial intelligence, yes. to assess credit scores and determine risk ratings. How exactly does that work? Yeah, again, uh, I am PhD in artificial intelligence. It was my, my passion uh, in, in, in previous my career. So uh, I've done a network, neural, artificial neural network software company. So we've done projects with, uh, even with City, with uh, Boeing satellite system, with Pfizer, but it was very sophisticated high-end neural networks. But this is how I got, uh, how artificial intelligence should apply for real life problems, not for for scientific uh, stuff, but, but for, for real results. Then I, then I got into this business with banks, and then here, so what, what, what means uh, uh, micro-lending? means a lot of data. Right. So whether you go to telcos and agree with telcos, they provide it. If they don't provide it, uh, we have a mobile app, Android app. So customers who are eager for loan and who understand they get better credit scoring, they, okay, 
give them consent and we just collect data from their mobile phones how they move what is and the location someone's reading that data yeah, yeah. We, we 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 gather this data then we now analyze all these hundreds thousands of parameters finding out what, what is it's not that easy so i it's okay. a lot of hype over right. it i but, can but, imagine yeah. now dimitri lastly what's the big plan for the philippines here i mean yeah. i imagine it's a interesting market for you huge population at the same time tech infrastructure is still a challenge yeah we are very serious about philippines about philippines we actually have a plan grandiosa <laughs> yeah also uh, also within indonesia too so for philippines we are right now hiring business development director and i believe we setting already up, found one setting yeah. up an office here yeah, yeah, okay. setting up an office. So we will have support department here. We will have more sales and marketing. In guys terms here. of subscriber base, what are you targeting? Yeah, we are very ambitious. So we are targeting 500 subscribers. And uh, that is why we actually releasing free version of our software. The most necessary module, loan origination module, will be released for free. So we also, uh, uh, we also think this is our, uh, this is our, doing in order right. to educate the market in order to bring it closer faster so they will start using it they will understand how it's beneficial then they go for other modules payment automation credit scoring that are m more efficient brings them more money so this is this is why we believe we can hit this target in a year in a one and a half year uh so we are really ambitious so, so we go believe on a in free, this market go on a freemium model until such time you hit critical mass uh, it's simultaneously so, so some institution already telling to us we need all we don't need right, just right. loan so origination bring in 500. yeah yeah so whoever needs it come in, come in immediately but but uh, still try this see how you can right. get rid of papers yes. and and do it faster